Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a number puzzle. It says that Pranav took a workshop of arithmetic from Monday to Saturday. And there are six different topics. They were taught in the workshop, one on each day. Okay. And certain things are given to us that uh, except the first two days, attendance on a particular day was the average of the attendance of the previous two days. The class on ratio had the least attendance of 230 students. It was immediately before the class on average and uh, one more condition given to us. Okay. So, uh, we will have to find the number of people attending the class on each of these days. Right. So, one important thing, the, uh, the logic to crack this question is, so it is saying that except the first two days, attendance was the average of the attendance on the previous two days, right? So let us take any two numbers. Let us say 4 and 10. The average is 7. Let us take 17 and 13. The average is 15. Okay. So what we notice is the average lies between the highest, higher number and the lower number. So average is always a central number. That is the higher number and lower number it is always between them okay so average cannot be highest it cannot be lowest right now from wednesday on onward we have seen that these are all averages of previous days so that means they cannot be the highest and lowest so this means that the highest and lowest are among these two days right highest and lowest monday or tuesday Monday. Okay, so that is one thing that is the important logic that you have to understand in order to solve this question, right? In the crack to solve this question. Okay, now if you have understood this, it is said that the ratio, class on ratio had the least attendance of 30 students. Okay, it was immediately before the class on average, we did not have the highest attendance. So ratio can be on one of these two days. Suppose if you take ratio here, right? And it says average did not have the, the next class was on average and did not have the highest attendance. So if it is lowest, then it should be highest, but it is saying that it is not the highest. So what it means is that the class on ratio was on Tuesday. So the class on ratio and it had 30 students. Okay. Now this was the class on average that we can figure out from this. So this part is done, this part is done. Now the third part, it says three more students were present in the class on mixture as compared to the class on SICI, which was taken before the classes on profit loss and mixture. So SICI is coming before mixture and profit loss. Okay. So SICI can come here or SICI can come here. Now it is saying that three more students were present in the class on mixture as compared to class on SICI. So if there are n students, so mixture had n plus three students. Suppose we consider SICI here, right? Then it has to be the highest number because ratio is already the lowest number. So this means that SICI cannot be present on Monday. So it has to be present on Thursday. Okay, so this is SICI. Now, mixture and profit loss will be one of these two, okay. These will be mixture profit loss. So, the remaining class that is average mixture ratio, SICI profit loss percentages. So, the class on Monday is on percentages, right. So, this we have figured out. Now, we have to use this relation to find the value of numbers here, okay. Now, if we see, let us say if we take the variable x here. Right, so it will become x by two. But forget the uh, constant part. So if its average lenge, it will become x by two plus some number. Okay. Then in dono ka average lenge, x by two ka half karenge, so that will become x by four. Then in dono ka average lenge, it will become x by eight. In dono ka average lenge, x by sixteen. Aise karke, it will be in fractions. Okay. So better to avoid that. Let us do one thing. Yahan pe hum sixteen x le lenge because we will get something in. Uh, like a 16th part of it, right? So it is better to take 16x as a variable here so that we do not, we get all these variable part at least as integers and fractions always cause problems, right? So the best strategy is to take this variable as 16x, 
Okay, so whatever we get the value of x, we can multiply by 16. So 16x, this will be 8x plus 15. Okay, if we take half of this, this is 4x and this is 45. So this will be 22.5. The reason is 16x plus 30 by 2. Okay, if we take the average 30 plus x plus 15 by 2. So we are taking average of previous two numbers. So this will be average is 6x and this is 37.5. 18.75. So this is 18.75. Okay. 4 plus 6, 10. So this will be 5x. Now the reason you see the reason, right? 16x here, so we are getting 5x. Now we can solve for it. So plus 22.5 will give us 0.25, 1 carries 41. And if we divide by 2, we will get 20 point, 20 will give 40, 1.25 that will be 6.5. So 20.62. Right, so these are the number of students here. Okay. Now what we need to do next is we have to use this condition, the third condition that three more students were present in the class on mixture as compared to the class on SICK. So suppose the class on mixture was on Friday. Let's just assume this. So if we subtract this, we will get 2x minus 3.75 is equal to 3, right? So this gives us, we take this, we will get uh, 2x is equal to 6.75 and we will get x is equal to 3.375. Okay, so if we multiply by 16, right, so if we multiply this number by 16, we will get x uh, 48 plus this is 3 by 8. Okay, so 8 into 16 to 6, that is 54. So we will get the number as 54. So let us put 54 and see if it fits. Okay, so if we put 54, then this is 30. So 84, then we will get 42. Okay, so if we take this 72, that is 36. And if we take this, that is uh, 78, uh, that will give us 39. And we will get 37.5, right? So if we are using this value, we use this value, we see that we are getting the number of people as non-integer. Okay. Number of students cannot be a non-integer, right? So there could be another thing if it was amount, it was something else that could be an integers. But number of students cannot be a non-integer. So that means our this assumption is wrong, right? So mixture is not taken on Friday. So let us take mixture on Saturday. And try to solve for it. So if we take mixture on Saturday, then mixture minus SICI is 3. Okay. So that is x plus minus x minus 1.875 equal to 3. So x is equal to 4.875. 4 is 64 and 875 is 7 by 8 that is 14. So that gives us the number 78. Okay. So let us use 78 and try to find out that do we get the, uh, the result with 78. So if we put 78 here, we will get uh, 108 that is 54. We will get 54, we will get uh, 84, that is 42. 96 ka half is 48, 90 ka half is 45. So we are getting values for these numbers, right? So we are seeing that it is 78, this is 30, this is 54, this is 42, this is 48, and this is 45. And this subject will be profit loss. Okay, so by putting x is equal to 4.875, we are able to get integer values. 
Okay, so that that must be the answer. Now let us answer the question: Which class was conducted on Friday? So on Friday we have the class on profit and loss. What was the highest number of students attending any class? So if you look at the highest number, that is seventy-eight. How many students attended the class on average? So there are fifty-four students that attended the class on average. Okay, and the last question says if there are total eighty students registered for the workshop, how many students uh, attend? At least how many students attended the class on both profit loss and mixture? Okay, so since there are total of ninety three students in this, right? Profit loss plus mixture. There are ninety three students. Let us say eighty are unique students. Eighty unique. Then there will be thirteen. Repeat minimum thirteen repeat. So let us take like this. Let us say, let's consider this line method also. So forty eight students. There are some people. So next day, like there are eighty students registered, right? So we have to put the minimum number of people here. Minimum number of repeating people. So we will put maximum number here, right? So there will be thirty two people who will new. So out of these forty five, thirty two will be new. So thirteen will repeat again. Okay. So that is. The number will be thirteen. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.